First gold medal with the gun rifle. The, the, air rifle. the air rifle. Love it. Yeah, I guess gun and rifle, that's an oxymoron. Yeah, but I don't quite get how the air rifle works. Is it just I don't, a, I don't either. a puff of air? I guess. I should I know, know, but I don't you know. You should. No accelerant. No matter what. That's right. Indeed. All right. Uh, meanwhile, let's talk about this. This is a big story. Uh, as it turns out, a, uh, an Iranian by the name of Sharam Amiri. He was a scientist. He was executed by the country of Iran on Wednesday. He was hanged uh, because they said he was an American spy. Uh, you know, and there are a lot of stories out there today about what he did for the United States. Apparently, it sounds like the CIA paid him $5 million, but people... Who's a top about. nuclear scientist, potentially, right. letting us know what they were trying to do. Sure. Here, here's, uh, and it's terrible that they that they executed him. Mm -hmm. But here's the part that's making news. You know, on Hillary's homebrew unsecured email server up at her house in Chappaqua, apparently uh, Mrs. Clinton and her aides discussed this guy. They referred to him as our friend. Our friend has to be given away. Our, our person won't be able to do anything anyway. If he has to leave, so be it. So his name as our friend was on this unsecured email server for anybody who could hack into it to see. No, that's right. They were using clearly coded language. They didn't mention him by name. I can't they, break that code, our friend. Of course, but it means they knew <laughs> that it was sensitive. They knew yeah. what they were talking about could, could have otherwise been interpreted. So she's saying, you should trust me because I did everything right in the emails. Well, guess what? He trusted her, and she put in emails our friend or her aides did and she knew about those emails and passed them along on her unsecured server and now he's no longer alive that's right well and senator tom cotton who knows a little bit about national security iran uh, and dealing with our the body count grows and as it pertains to this case and this is what he had to say i'm not going to comment on what he may or may not have done for the united states government but in the emails that were on Hillary Clinton's private server, there were conversations among her senior advisors about this gentleman. <laughs> that goes to show just how reckless and careless her decisions was to put that kind of highly classified information on a private server. And I think her judgment is not, is not suited to keep this country safe. The people we rely on to do dangerous and difficult things for us rely on one thing from us that we will not reveal their identity right. and not be reckless with what the dangerous things they're doing for us. That's the national security implications sure. of a private server that's unsecured. That's why we look at a guy like Snowden and say, he's not a hero, he's a traitor. He put lives at risk and you can get people killed when you yeah. do that. And, and we don't know that this no. had any impact on it. We just know No, we don't. It's just curious. It was there. It's just curious reminder. that that he lost his life right after these emails are being released. But we're not sure if there's a connection. No coincidence. Right. Uh, meanwhile, you know, it's something that uh, we've been talking about on uh, this uh, channel for years. Uh, uh, the immigrant <coughs> problem in this country. Uh, so many people have come here. Ooh, Dems are finally going to deport an immigrant. Yesterday on one of the chat shows, I believe Fox News Sunday, uh, Newt Gingrich squared off against Xavier Becerra. He's a Democrat from California. And as it turns out, the Democrats are very concerned about the immigration status of one American. And that one American happens to be married to Donald Trump. <laughs> First of all, we know that his wife had a green card before she met him. She came How here legally. How did she get the green card? How did she get the green card? She came here legally. How did she get the green she card? She applied for a green card. She didn't oh, know Donald Trump. circumstances. Because she had been before she applied for the green card. And then she came here and decided she wanted to stay and work. Yeah. Okay. This is the only immigrant in America you're worried about. No, I, mean, no. I think it's amazing no, that the one immigrant. person you decided to pick on <laughs> happens to be the wife of Donald interesting Trump. Interesting that the immigrant basher is unwilling to explain how his wife, an immigrant, got First, danger it's status. Not, it's not an immigrant basher. His mother it's was a legal immigrant. immigrant. His wife is a legal immigrant. He employs legal immigrants. He just likes his immigrants to be legal. He makes a good point. They're only they're only concerned about one illegal or one legal immigrant, I should say. Yet they want to bring in. Yeah, Ashley. Sanctuary cities. They're fine with not putting a wall around America. It's and he did. He did what they do. Edie Hill. Edie Hill. Bring back Edie Hill.
We have laws in this country. We'd like to enforce them. We welcome immigrants, just like Melania Trump, sure. just like others. Uh, but we've got laws we need to enforce. And, and Newt Gingrich, as he oftentimes that does, a has, a, has a unique way of putting it. It really was a great point. I watched that interview, and we all, in my family, we were all just like, oh, my gosh, that was a great response. We welcome immigrants. Yeah. Just sign the guest book. Just right, exactly, exactly. Exactly. She exactly. did it the right way, even without knowing Donald Trump. He had nothing to do with it. Okay. We thought we'd bring it to you on this Monday morning. Meanwhile, it's not just the race for the White House. You need to be watching the red states that favor Republicans could actually turn blue in some cases when Larry Sabato peers into his crystal ball. He joins us live next. And